Ohio State heads to Rutgers on Saturday morning, uh, 11 a.m. Central Time, God's Time Zone, on CBS. Rutgers, an 18.5-point home dog, total of 42.5 on it. So let's go on and bring it up on the screen. These are the full season numbers. Uh, Big part of this game is the fact that Kyle McCord got injured towards the end of the last game. So that is something to pay attention to. Rutgers, uh, yeah, bowl eligible, like at number 27 in ESPN's strength of record. This team has been pretty impressive. When you look at the power rating, I mean, it's got Ohio State by 24 in this game. How much is Kyle McCord worth? Uh, I, I'm curious, right? Very curious. Uh, you start to look at these numbers, and Ohio State just has the advantage Everywhere they're they're not great running the ball, um, but I there's so much talent at running back that I just feel like they're going to be better. You see the stuff rate. Uh, Rutgers defensive line is number one thirteen in uh, stuff rate. Ohio State is number fifty eight stuff rate allowed. So the Ohio State offensive line isn't great, but at the same time, like you're not exactly you're not going against some massive defensive line here or or offensive line. On the other side, right? Because this Ohio State defensive line, number 52 in Havoc created. Uh, they are number 60 in stuff rate, number 31 in offensive line yards. They've got an advantage basically everywhere. Uh, let's look at the last four weeks numbers, and it likes Ohio State by 22.47. It's got 33 to 10, basically, somewhere around there. Um, I, you look at the numbers, Rutgers wants to run the ball. Uh, Ohio State has an advantage there. On the other side, Ohio State, you know, better at throwing it, but they're number 49 in rushing success rate, and Rutgers' defense is number 124 in rushing success allowed over the last four weeks. I think that while a lot of people think Ohio State going on the road to Rutgers is a big deal, I think Ohio State's going to cover the numbers. They got to win by three touchdowns. Yeah, I I get the feeling that that Ohio State is going to do what they need to to win by three scores. So, uh, 18 and a half doesn't feel like enough to me. I am going to take the Buckeyes minus the 18 and a half there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.